Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, I ran across this story and I thought I would share it with you. And it's about um, a great gospel singer um, from 1940 to the 70s. And uh, his name is Wilmer Little Axe Broadnax. And he is regarded to one of the first black gospel uh, transgender man. Broad Nax was born in Houston on December 28, 1916 and performed in gospel quartets in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Now, he and his uh, big brother, William Big X Broad Nax, performed with the St. Paul Gospel Singers in Houston before moving to L.A. to perform with the Southern Gospel Singers in uh, 1939 through 1940. Now, the Southern Gospel Singers all had day jobs that made it hard for Lil' Axe to get touring gigs. So, Wilmer Broughton formed his own group called the Golden Echoes. Now, the Golden Echoes became one of the top touring gospel quartet groups of the 40s, but William eventually left for Atlanta to join the Five Trumpets and Wilmer staying as the lead singers of the Golden Echoes. Now, in 1949, now augmented by future soul stirrer Paul Foster, the group that produced the future soul singers Sam Cooke and Johnny Taylor, they record a version of When the Saints Go Marching In. But their record label head decided to drop them before they could record a second single, and the group disbanded. Now, Brockneck took his powerful tenor voice to the popular spirit of Memphis gospel quartet that included legendary gospel singer Silas Steele. Now, the spirit of Memphis was one of the top grossing gospel acts of their time and were getting paid, yes, check this out, as much as $200 a week, <laughs> which was big money in that time period. Now, Broadnecks recorded and performed with the spirit of Memphis Quartet until 1952 when he began working with the Nashville, Tennessee-based Fairfield Four. And now Mississippi lead singer Archie Brownlee died in uh, 1960, uh, and he was of the group, the Five Blind Boys of Mississippi. Now, Broadneck was tapped at his replacement while also until 1965 continuing to lead his own group called Lil Axe and the Golden Voices. Now, as the popularity and commercial viability of gospel quartets um, seemed to disappear. Broughtnecks retired from touring, but did continue to record with the Five Blind Boys of Mississippi until the 70s and 80s. Now, there is a dispute as to when Wilner Broughtnecks actually died. Now, various sources claimed it was in 1994, but the untitled Black Lesbian Elder Project website asserts that he met his untimely demise in Philadelphia in 1992. Now, now he and his girlfriend, Lavinia Richardson, uh, were engaged in a heated argument when she stabbed him on May 23rd, 1992. And he, that's uh, where they say he died on June 1st, 1992. Uh, but the fact that isn't in dispute is when he died. It was on the autopsy table where they discovered that uh, uh, little axe Wilma Brotnax was actually a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, you know, I said, wow, I've never heard of this, this uh, guy. <laughs> and um, so uh, there you go and nobody knew it I mean nobody everyone thought that uh, he was 
a man, but he was actually born a woman. Mm hmm. All right, guys, you can just post your comments. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, important, be blessed, y'all.